Hi everybody, Andrea here. So when you're looking for a new dentist, what are some things you should consider? And I'm gonna give you a little behind the scenes of how a dental office really works and what we feel as dental professionals you need to consider when looking for a dentist. So I moved to a different province and when I was looking for a dentist, I was just simply looking for one that was close to me. I personally love a dental office in the mall because then after I have my dental appointment or before I can run errands, either do some shopping, hopefully there's a grocery store nearby. So I kind of hit two birds with one stone. I like convenience. That is the main thing for me. But then what are some things that I was also looking for when I went to that dental office? So unfortunately you can't just call and ask questions. Um, you know, things like how much are things going to cost? Do you like your staff? Is your staff good there? Do you have a high turnover? Because you also don't want to go to a dental office if they hire new people all the time, because then that kind of says the office isn't run very well. And what does that mean for patients? That means you might be kept waiting. You might have to wait all the time. That means they might not offer direct billing. So you might have to pay for your dental treatment up front, and then the insurance will pay you back, but it might take a couple days so maybe you don't have the cash on hand to do that that's another point ask if your dentist does direct billing that is something that you can call and ask for but as an example you can't call and say is your staff any good do you have a high turnover rate I don't want to go somewhere where you don't treat your staff well because then I'm never going to see the same person so you know things you can ask and things you can't ask um, do they want to take x-rays on you every two seconds? That might not be something that you want. Ultimately, you want a dentist that is there for you, that's conservative, that wants to give you the best treatment, but also who doesn't care what your insurance covers in a bad way. Meaning, if they look through your insurance coverage and they go, oh, they're covered for x-rays every year, I'm going to maximize that. Or they're covered for teeth cleanings every three months, I'm going to maximize that. They might not need a teeth cleaning every three months, but I'm going to make sure they get one so I utilize that insurance not that it's about the money or it isn't about the money but do you really want a dentist or a dental hygienist that thinks like that probably not so for me when I was looking for a dentist it was about convenience I wanted one that was convenient but why I stay with that particular office is because the staff has been there for 10 20 years he must be a good dentist he or she I think there's a couple of them in the practice but they must be doing well when they have the same staff for 10 20 years so I do really like that I can't clean my own teeth so when I go I like seeing the same hygienist because she knows me and you know she just just knows your history it's just a little bit easier than having to re-explain things every time um, and I liked that office because they weren't pushy I did tell them I know I'm a new patient but I don't want x-rays I just had them done I can have them sent over to you they weren't pushy they didn't say to me well you have to this and that this and that no I love a dental office that is not pushy when you go to a new dental office though, expect they're going to want a new patient exam because you're their new patient. It's going to cost you one to $300 depending on what they charge, but check if it's covered by insurance first. If it's not, maybe wait six months because in six months it might be covered. Money is important to everybody. You don't want to pay for something if, if you just left it for six months, then you wouldn't have to pay for it, right? So things to think about. I'm a mobile dental hygienist, so I can clean teeth in patients homes but I do still tell patients you need to go to a dentist as well to get a dental checkup and x-rays if I recommend them so I give them kind of tips or words of advice on what to look for when they're looking for a dental office and those are some basic things ask them if they offer direct billing you'll kind of get a feel for the office maybe after the first couple appointments do they push like x-rays do do they push things on you that you feel like you don't need the nice thing is me being a dental hygienist I tell my patients don't pay for anything don't sign up for anything if you're not sure ask me first you know did the dentist tell you you need a crown but you've never heard of that before well just call me ask me not saying that I'm right and they're wrong but I might be able to offer you a reason why no you don't need a crown and this is why or yes you do the dentist is right it's nice to get a second opinion so me and your dentist are going to work together if you see a mobile dental hygienist and I happen to be your dental hygienist but what might be important 
important to me in a dental office might not be important to you. I mentioned convenience. That's the most important thing to me. So even if I didn't love the dental office, maybe if they were pushy, I'm only going to see them for x-rays maybe once every couple years. If I need them, if I need any restorative work, I'm only going to see them once every couple years, if that. Hopefully not. I haven't had a cavity, oh my God, since I was a teenager. So who you want to see is your dental hygienist. That's the person you're going to see every six months, if not more. I'm a mobile dental hygienist, so I go to my patients' homes to clean their teeth, so they don't even have to worry about the dentist very often. Um, but if you're seeing your dental hygienist in the dental office, then it's really the dental hygienist you want to make sure you get like a good feel for, a good personality. But if you see the dental hygienist in a dental office, you're going to see the dentist for dental checks. So the office is more important to you if you go every so often, right? Versus me where I just see the dentist. Well, I go often because I can't clean my own teeth. So I do need a good dental hygienist because I can't clean my own teeth. But it really depends on what works for you and what you need. But just remember, I would say what patients tell me, those are the most important too. You know, they don't want a dental office that they feel is just wants to take their money and they don't care about their oral health. They don't want a, de a dental office where they have to pay up front because they just simply can't afford it. When I see my patients, I offer di direct billing. They also don't want to feel like their staff is being replaced every three months. They're always seeing somebody new. I would say those are the most important from what patients tell me. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if any questions and I'll see you in the next one.